Today on All Things 80s, this box came straight from China. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, if you've been watching my recent Transformers videos, you will have seen that I have obtained a couple of Chinese knockoff Transformers, but they were bought from sellers within America. I was just too scared to place the order directly to the Chinese seller because I just did not know what was going to arrive or if anything would arrive at all. Well, I placed the order and it only took 11 days from placing that order on eBay to arriving today, which I think is fantastic in terms of speed of shipping. However, what's contained within remains to be seen. So, I guess all I can say is, let's get this opened up and see what we have. Um, I will say in advance, it is a two pack of Decepticon micro cassettes. So it's a very lightweight package. Feels like the whole thing has been encased in styrofoam and taped up, which I think seems to be sort of a standard shipping practice from China. So anyway, let's see if I have been ripped off or if I got the deal of a century because certainly the price I paid was an absolute steal. And that's also why I took a chance on a low priced item. So if it turns out to be a good uh, transaction, the seller does have other Transformers that I'm looking to purchase. So perhaps this, if this turns out to be good, I will come back and give the guy more business. <clears throat> As a side note, um, the tape or the styrofoam absolutely stinks. Oh my God, it's like, it's like just a horrible chemical smell. So I'm wondering if I should have been wearing a COVID mask for this. Anyway. Moment of truth. So we have some Chinese newspaper here. Um, let's see. Obviously can't read anything here. And I guess these are the current stamps that are being used in China. And oh, and you know, not to be, how do I say this in the most PC manner? Um, I'm going to say uh, their sports section features table tennis. So anyhow, here is our twin pack. Now they've used bubble wrap on this. And again, this container, um, fantastic means of shipping something all that distance. I always try to take the tape off styrofoam, not styrofoam, bubble wrap as gently as possible, but I do reuse it where possible. Right. So, I have received what I thought I was going to receive. And um, given my experience thus far with these Chinese knockoffs, I expect these to be every bit as good as the the items I've received so far from, not directly from China, but Chinese knockoffs. Uh, this one I went for Rat Bat and Frenzy. I was never had a Rat Bat and was just intrigued to see what it looked like. So on this experience, this arrived in super quick time. The packaging cannot be faulted in any way, apart from the smell. And the product is as expected. So I can say this was an absolutely brilliant transaction and uh, very impressed. So based on that, I think it's safe to say I will take the plunge and order a slightly bigger transformer directly from China from the same seller. Um, if anyone's interested, I will post the link to our, the seller's name 
uh, in the description because he has done an amazing job of getting this to me in super quick time and I'm thinking I was maybe being a bit overly apprehensive about ordering directly from China but this has convinced me that this could well be the way to complete my Transformers collection. So, hope you enjoyed that quick little unboxing video there. Thank you for watching with special thanks going out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe and as always stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s. So this is just a quick look at the actual quality of these Chinese knockoffs. Now Ratbat is a transform I've never had before so this is all very new to me but from what I can tell thus far this is a pretty decent piece. Uh, just bear with me to get this transformed. So as you can see um, pretty much indistinguishable from the original and the accessories really really nice. Nice shiny chrome finish to them so I guess they just stick on at the back here. So yeah so this is Ratbat, a pretty awesome looking transformer it has to be said and quality wise I have no complaints whatsoever this is an absolutely solid piece. So now we're looking at Frenzy and on the left we have an original Hasbro reissue and on the right here is the Chinese one that I just received. Now looking at it in tape form the only differences I'm seeing is the fact that they've used more of a foil type sticker on the original but it's a, it's a matte finish and also the stickers that will form his you know cuffs are present on the real one not present on this one but that's actually a good thing because I know that from my rumble uh, micro cassette these stickers come off very easily. Turning it over is rather interesting because Hasbro have used a yellow paint for the gold effect whereas the Chinese knockoff is actually um, a gold metallic paint finish which is rather nice. The Decepticon sticker is actually nicer on the original. I don't know how well this is coming across but it's actually a foil sticker whereas this is not a foil sticker. On the sides, uh, once again, foil sticker from Hasbro, not from the knockoff. So quickly get these transformed and you will see a couple of uh, points of interest that I need to bring up. So first of all, the, the head on the original Hasbro version is a slightly lopsided. I don't know how well that's coming across but it is pointing slightly to his right. Uh, as I mentioned these stickers here they come off very easily so not having them on the knockoff is not a big problem for me. Now the point I wanted to mention was that on the original, well, I keep saying original, it's not a G1 original, it's a Hasbro reissue, but his feet, the one on his right leg is just so loose it won't stay in place. Uh, I don't know if you can see that you can certainly hear it flapping about so that's not so good. So that's a bit of a a bad mark against Hasbro there but we can get around that. The components that go on his back are uh, pretty much identical. There's nothing to really comment one way or another when you're looking at Hasbro versus knockoff. So this is the genuine Hasbro. We'll get this one transformed and you'll see another couple of minor differences. So this one again, the knockoff, it feels really good. The head comes up nicely, a uh, weaker spring I would say actually but that's to be expected. Again the stickers that are missing actually that's a good thing because those stickers do come off very very easily and the feet on this one are solid and stay in place. Now the one thing I did find was that it was quite an effort to get these accessories into his back. Uh, it's a rather tight hole which under normal circumstances would be welcomed but when it comes to transformers uh, not such a good thing but once they're in they're fine they're never coming out. Now you will see another sticker missing uh, up here the Hasbro has the stickers here, 
they're not present here. So that's two sets of stickers we're missing. We're missing the stickers on the upper leg and on the, you know, his cuffs and his shoulders. But like I said, the ones that are missing, these little stickers, not a big deal. Um, not having the sticker there, not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, again, these feet are really annoying me on the original version or the Hasbro version, the fact that they're not staying out. So that's a bit of a, a bad mark against Hasbro. The knockoff, absolutely satisfactory. Um, really good, very solid feeling. And in my opinion, it was money well spent. So along with the Rat Bat, uh, this was a wonderful purchase and I'm glad I did it because the seller has come up trumps as far as I'm concerned. Fast shipping and good quality product.